And back here at home, their calls are growing for Alabama Senate candidate Roy Moore to drop out of the race after that report. He allegedly had a sexual encounter with a 14 year old girl when he was in his 30s. But Moore is not backing down. Our chief national correspondent, Tom Yamas, is here with some new developments. Tom, good morning. Amy, good morning to you. Now, the campaign tells me even if President Trump himself would call and ask for him to drop out, he would still stay in this race. That election now less than a month away, and the former judge telling his supporters he's going to sue the Washington Post. This morning, the Senate race in Alabama possibly about to get uglier. Candidate Roy Moore standing defiant in the face of growing calls from his own party to step aside. Over the weekend, vowing to turn the tables after being accused of molesting a 14-year-old girl and dating teenagers while he was a district attorney 38 years ago. In the next few days, there will be revelations about the motivations and the content of this article. They will be made, brought to the public. More yet to provide that proof, which he's been promising for days, would discredit the allegations uncovered by the Washington Post. To think that grown women would wait 40 years to come before, right before an election, to bring charges is absolutely unbelievable. And overnight, Moore saying he plans to sue the paper. These attacks on involve a minor child, completely unfalse and untrue, and for which they will be sued. But now, one of Moore's former co-workers, Teresa Jones, saying she believes the accusers, tweeting, as a deputy DA in Gadsden, when Roy Moore was there, it was common knowledge about Roy's propensity for teenage girls. Something Moore was directly asked about on the Sean Hannity radio show. Do you remember dating girls that young at that time? Not generally, no. If I did, I, you know, I'm not going to dispute anything, but I don't remember anything like that. Moore's answers in that interview, along with the accusations leading to several Republican senators exactly to call for him to drop out. Uh, from my point of view, uh, you know, I have to say, I think the accusations have more credibility than the denial. I think it would be best if Roy would just step aside. Any person who believes that these allegations are not that bad, I don't want him to be part of the Republican Party. I think if the allegations are true, there's no doubt that he should step aside, and not for the party, but for the American people. More than 40 Republican senators saying he should step aside if the allegations are true, a sentiment shared by the White House, whose handling of the Roy Moore accusations got the SNL treatment. I mean, Mike, look, it's all lies. I'm not that guy. Perhaps, Roy, perhaps. But it's hard to convince people that you're not into young girls when you dress like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> now, in another bizarre twist to this story, Coles, Kerrig, and Eloquy uh, tweeting they are pulling their ads from the Sean Hannity TV show after customers complained about Sean Hannity's apparent support for Roy Moore. In turn, Hannity fans have called for a boycott of those companies. The allegations and importance of this race clearly much bigger than the December 12th election in Alabama, Amy. And Tom, there are reports now that there are polls that show the race tightening. There any truth to those polls? Yeah, there's been a handful of polls that have come out since this Washington story broke, and the campaign acknowledges they have taken a hit, especially with undecideds. But I've spoken to a lot of people who know Alabama politics, and they still believe Roy Moore, if he stays in, will win this race. All right, Tom, thank it's you. It's a deep yeah. red state. Okay, Tom, thank you.